So this video looks at applications of multiplication. So um, how to take the things that we learned with multiplying monomials and polynomials and turn them into sort of more complicated application questions. Um, so for this particular one, we need to find the area of the figure. And this would be quite straightforward if these were just numbers. So Think of it that way and do it the same way. It just happens that this one has letters in it. That's all. So if you were given this question with just numbers, you would probably split this area into two rectangles. And you could either split it horizontally or vertically. So we'll split it vertically, but it does not make a difference. Um, what some of you might also do is you might find the area of the big shape and then subtract this part here, and that's also fine. So once you split it into two rectangles, let's find the area of rectangle one. Remember, area is base times height, which is going to end up being 4x times 8x. And when we multiply those together, we get 32x squared. We're going to do the same thing for this rectangle. However, we have a slight problem. We don't actually know how long it is. We do know, however, that the whole thing is 10 and this part is 4 and this is not drawn to scale, so um, don't get thrown off by how it looks. So to get the missing piece, we do 10x minus 4x, so I'll just write that here, and that will leave us with 6x. So that's how long that part is going to be. And then we're going to just do the same thing, find the area of that rectangle. So 6x times 3x is 18x squared. And then all we're going to do to get the total area is add the two pieces together. 32x squared plus 18x squared. And because these are like terms, we can add them and we'll get 50x squared. And that's the area of that particular shape. So this one here, it's a question involving volume. And this is a cube, so how do we find volume of a cube? Well, we do side times side times side, or we can do side cubed. So this is really just saying volume is equal to 2x squared y cubed, or you can think of it as 2x squared y times 2x squared y times 2x squared y. They are exactly the same thing. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the 6. And y times y times y is y to the 3. And that is the volume of that particular figure. Uh, this question is a lot like the first one that we saw. The only difference is that one of the sides is a monomial and the other side is a binomial. So to find the area, again, we're just going to do base times height or length times width. Um, what I would recommend, however, is to always write the monomial first. It makes your life much easier and it's sort of how you're used to seeing distribution type questions. So to find the area of this figure, we're going to do 3x times 5x plus 2. So it just makes it a little bit easier to write the monomial first times the polynomial second. And we're going to do distribution. 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. And because those are not like terms, we're done. That is the area of that particular rectangle.